stand up for Right, that. quit your havering then. Um, I'd like you to meet Detective Jameson from the RUC. He's come across to investigate this little problem we've got with the uh, dead woman on the building site. Now, Grant, we don't actually need you here. You can go at the moment. Detective Jameson here is only here as an observer. He's not to take part in the investigation. Now, lads, as far as I'm concerned, this is a pretty open and shut case. We find the body full of drugs. It looks like she fell off the top of the building. Right, I'll leave you to it, gentlemen. The file's over there. It's salt. The girl was stoned out of her face. She went back to a place of work, fell off its open and shut case. Suicidal misadventure. A lawyer in a business suit, and she's found in a building site. Does that not seem strange to you? I take it we've spoken to this Willie Brown, site owner? Mr. Brown is an upstanding member of the community, and I suspect that Chief Inspector Bell will have spoken to him if it isn't necessary. Don't you think we should maybe make sure, Johnny? It's Inspector Walker. It'll be a waste of time, but if you really think it's worthwhile, we'll do it. That, that last uh, aeola to you know who, I think we'll charge that to the starving children charity. Hello, Mr. Brown. I'm terribly sorry to bother you. We just need to ask you a few more questions about that unfortunate incident on one of your properties. That's all for now, dear. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. See you later. We were just wondering whether there's anything you had to add? Well, I told the Chief Inspector everything I knew yesterday. Right? You'd think a lawyer would know better than to become addicted to such things and to be so careless. That looks like a healthy snack, sir. Salt and salad. These are my addictions. Curious way to take salt, sir. Hmm. I normally carry a salt cellar around with me, but uh, I seem to have mislaid it. It's a great shame. But there you are. Some people are just very weak-willed. You're a liar, son. It's all right, Inspector. Mind if I come in? Sure. Is everything all right? Yes. Just need to calm down. Calm down? Mm. You're Mr. Brown, selfish little man. Mr. Brown's not selfish. He cares for his employees. <laughs> like he cared for his lawyer. Ah, oh, her. We both know she didn't kill herself. He knows she didn't kill herself. That girl's never taken drugs in her life. I, I don't like what you're saying. I'm sorry. I'm leaving now. Do you know who that is? He's crooked. He's crooked. Can't you see? The salt shaker. It's a messenger who killed her. Or maybe you can't see it because he's paying you. I don't take bribes. He's a friend of the police. He's a friend of the chief inspectors. He's clean. What's it matter if some stupid tart died anyway? Some stupid tart? That stupid tart is Sarah Jameson, my sister. I know we can rely on you to do the right thing, chief inspector. This should round everything off nicely. Ah, Walker! Jameson, in here, I've heard all about it. You are here on this case as an observer. You do not go around beating up reputable members of the Scottish community. This is the end of your case for you. You are back on the next book tomorrow. There's an innocent girl lying dead and nobody seems to care here. This needs to be investigated. It's not being investigated properly. It is brutally clear what happened to this girl. She fell off the building, she was full of drugs. That's it. That girl's never done drugs in her life. That man is bent. You are no longer anywhere near this case. You're back to Paddyland on the first book tomorrow. Thank you.
Willie Brown, you naughty, naughty boy. I know, Brian. I know about the payments to the police. I know about the rack rents. And I know about the murder of Sarah Jameson. There's a lot of difference, you know, between knowing everything and proving anything. I don't need proof, Brian. I just needed to know for sure. Stop! I heard everything! Walker! Come out of this bastard! I've covered up for him for years, you know. And then along comes your smart lawyer sister. And within a week, she's bedded him. A week! But she wouldn't cover up for him, you know. All his shady dealings. 20 years I've worked for that selfish old pig. 20 years! And he wouldn't even give up his wife for me. Huh. Okay, detectives. Let's go. Cool.